As far as art goes and making models of things, I don't know why, but one of my favorite things to do is make uh, models and sculptures of transmission towers. Um, I'm just kind of obsessed with these things and think they're really cool. Um, I've built about six of them so far in the last couple of years, ranging from six feet tall to 30 feet tall. I think uh, I got these two here. Um, I got everything measured out to where I'm going to build one of these two about five feet tall. And my plan is, is to hang like bird feeders and stuff off of them um, and see. I think that'd be pretty neat. I think I'm leaning towards this one here. Um, this one here will take less material, believe it or not, than this one. So. I got some quarter inch rod right here and I got the welding machine ready to go so let's uh, do some measuring and stuff and see if we can make one that looks like that so the reason I'm making this five feet tall is because these rods I have right here are ten feet um, so without making any waste I'm only gonna make it five feet that way I can utilize as much material as possible. This stuff's pretty cheap, but it's still, why waste it? Of course, there's no such thing as wasting it when you're, when you like building sculptures. This stuff's super easy to work with. I just cut it with bolt cutters. So I don't have to use any grinding wheels or anything. So now I got four pieces cut. So this will make the height of the tower. So now I'm going to have to find out where I want to bend it straight. Right here and give it the feet or whatever. Probably come up like that and then go straight up and then there will be something on top. So I got these bent right here. I just uh, simply put them in the vise and smacked it with a hammer a couple times. Um, this is 5 feet and from the top to the bend is 20 inches. So by the time you put them up like that, you have that shape that you want. Something like that and then uh, I just simply got to figure out what I want here and what I want at the bottom. And, uh, I mean, you can do anything you want. I mean, you can go as wide as you want or as narrow as you want. But I'm thinking right about there looks pretty good for the scale of it. So. Um. Let's see, that's, that's four inches right there. I think four inches is a little narrow. I think, uh, I'm thinking we're going to want like five inches. Six inches will start to look a little goofy, so five inches is where we want to be with this. So I'll go ahead and get um, several pieces cut, and then we can actually get the frame of it welded uh somewhat together so let's go ahead and get a few five inch pieces cut and we'll do that Alright, so I have my five, or sorry, my eight five inch pieces cut that are going to go in here. So um, let's go ahead and get some of these tacked on here. Just tack her on for now. Let's 
We'll just have to bend these a little bit as we go. I think that's a game we're going to have to play. Because the problem is, is these have to be spun a little bit at a little bit of an angle. You know, they don't go straight because if you could picture like the three-dimensional, you know, they're kind of out and then this way more. But... I don't really know how to do that kind of math, so I just put it together and just bend it around as I need it. But I'll finish getting these welded up and then, then we'll be able to tweak it a little bit. these uh, legs I had to get the torches and heat the legs up right there at the joint and uh, straighten them a little bit but I got that welded up so you know it's pretty straight but let's put some braces on the bottom right here what I did here is I measured eight inches up from the bottom and um, this is 19 inches so if I do that all the way around that should square it up pretty good so let's go ahead and get these four measured and welded on and uh, we should be in pretty good shape then we can start putting the bracing in and all that there now it's starting to look like a tower just needs um, a little bit of straightening up here and there and you can start bracing it up. Well, I got the pieces cut for the cross pieces now. I got two for there. Those work out to be about 18. So they go like that. So there's eight of these. And then on the top I got these here, they just go cross pattern like that. So, I'll probably have to trim a couple as I go, but. So, we'll get these welded on, and then the bottom should be pretty much done. We can move on to the next step. Alright, there you have it for this. So, all I gotta do is do that on all four sides and the bottom should be pretty much done. Well, I have all the uh, arms that would hold the wires all cut and prepped. Um, this is a 12 and this is a 13. I'll go like that. And then there will be one on the top. Do the same thing. And for the center, because the centers are usually a little longer, I got a 15 on the bottom and then a 17 on the top. So that will go like that. Let's see what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and get these welded on.
three arms on that side. So I'll go ahead and do the same on the other side and we'll catch up there. something with insulators that hang off of here that would normally hold the wires um, there needs to be six of them so I have an idea that's not too complicated but should look pretty cool so what my plan is is to take one of these two inch bolts right here and put eight washers a piece on it Something like that. Just tack weld them on there. So once they're all straight, I think that'll look pretty close to the real thing. And then I can paint it. But I think that's uh, what I was going to do is take pieces of this aluminum bar stock right here and put it on the lathe and then just cut in like every quarter inch or whatever to make it look like that but I think that's going to take way too much time to make six so I think the bolt with the washers will be and once it's painted I mean it'll look pretty close to the real thing anyway I think this is the cheapest and easiest way out and most effective because the threads will kind of give it that authentic look too. And I'll have to put some kind of hook on the top right here to uh, make it so it'll hang from it. So let's get to doing that.
There it is right there. Um, just clean it up a little bit with the grinder and paint it and uh, I think that'll look pretty good. It'll look like the real thing. Probably paint it like brown or blue or whatever. Probably brown will look the best, look most authentic. But oh, I gotta make six more now. Right there, I got a 3 8 nut welded on the bottom. I gotta clean that up with a grinder yet, so don't panic too much. But uh, I got a 3 8 nut on the bottom, so you can hang whatever. You can hang anything you want off of it. And what I did is I welded a nut. Get this a little closer. I welded a nut on the side, so these just thread in. I gotta clean the threads up yet, but that'll thread in, that'll thread in, and so on and so forth. And then you can spin it whatever way you want, and then you can hang something off of that. There's not a lot of room to hang off of that one, but there'd be plenty of room to hang off of that one there. So I got that done, and then get on the bottom here. I welded a couple nuts on the bottoms on all four so that way it's not going to scratch the floor or whatever you know um, so the last thing I'm going to do to this before I paint it is I'm going to take a quarter 20 bolt and weld it on the top and the reason I'm going to do that is because quarter 20 is a pretty popular size and if you wanted to put a light up here or anything, anything at all, it shouldn't be hard to either put it over top of this or, or even thread it on. Um, so I'm going to do that, make sure that's nice and straight so it doesn't look kooky. And then uh, give it a quick grind down and then I'm going to spray some paint on it. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, good enough. I just take a thread chaser down it. Alright. Yeah, next step is to uh next step is to get her painted. Um so I'm going to wipe it all down with some lacquer thinner to get the oil off of it and uh, we'll get her painted, see how it looks. Alright, so here's my plan with the tower as far as paint goes. I have this caterpillar yellow right here. I'm going to paint it yellow. Um, you know, it might be different depending on what area you're in. but. Um, typically when I see this style tower with the six uh, lines on it, it's usually yellow. It's usually yellow or it's silver. And I don't know, silver to me is kind of a little bit too predictable. So I'm going to paint it yellow and then after I paint it yellow, I'm going to just dust this brown over top of it right here to kind of make it look like it's weathered and it's rusty. Um, so I think that will give it the most authentic look. And if I don't like it, I could always paint it a different color afterwards. So let's go ahead and get it painted. You guys get the point. Um, yeah, there's a couple things. Uh, I'm gonna put my respirator on, and sorry, but you're gonna have to use your imagination on how I paint this, cause I don't want to ruin my brand new camera. So uh, I'll get back once it's painted, and um, I'm gonna put a bag over this thing and get my respirator on. So we'll see you back when it's painted. Well, here's the first one that I built 
Um, this one here is about six and a half feet high. And uh, I just built it out of, um, actually somebody uh, gave me a whole bunch of racks that came out of a grocery store and I cut them apart and uh, built it with that. Two sections comes apart and two pieces. Um, so that's the first one I built. Uh, and then uh, I had I had another one over here, a yellow one, that I had the line strung to on that one. But uh, I gave it to my mom for Mother's Day and hung bird feeders off of it. So she really liked that. The birds like it too. It's all kinds of places for them to land. And here's the third one I built right here. It's a little bit bigger. So this one here stands about seven, 17 feet tall. And there's a blinking light at on top that comes on at night. And this one here I built out of some old garage door rails and... Uh, some other railing and angle iron from a bed frame and so on. So yeah, that one's uh, 17 feet tall. And not sure if you could see it or not, but I have lines strung from there all the way to the other big one in the distance. So the one right there next to that uh, little shed, um, that one I made out of wood. and. I built that one after I did the other one, and here's the top to it. So that actually flew off of there all the way over there. So if you're looking to build any of these things, wood probably isn't the best thing to use. Um, it just doesn't hold up to the wind or the elements or anything. So yeah, that one didn't work out too good. And try to do some more snow. This snow's deep. So here's there's the overhead lines. And this is the latest one I built right here. This one here is uh, 27 feet. This one's actually concreted into the ground. So that one's 27 feet to the top of the light. There's another blinking light. And there's the lines, and they go all the way to that other one in the distance I showed you first. So, danger high voltage. I don't know how much voltage uh, nylon string carries, but must be a lot. Um, this one here is actually built out of wall, uh, well pipe. Uh, one of my friends, uh, he put a new well in, and I don't know, there was like two or 300 feet of this uh, one inch well pipe, drilled well pipe. Uh, so instead of bringing it to the junkyard, I built this tower out of it. So um, so let's do something cool. This one here, well you could climb the other one too, but it's not stable. But this one here I actually made so you can climb. I got pegs on it, so let's do a tower climb. Unlike a lot of the tower climb videos I see on YouTube, this one here is going to be perfectly legal and perfectly safe. So uh, let me get this GoPro strapped on my head and we'll do a tower climb. Let's do a tower climb. For 27 feet you can actually see quite a bit when you're on top of this thing. side here and then those two pegs right there if you can see them again I'm sorry if you can't see a hundred percent but I got it so you can put your feet on these pegs and get up here but look at that view if you could see I'm gonna move my head around I move my head all over the place so you can see the view. But I got these uh, glass insulators here 
someone gave to me and I figured this was the perfect application. And I got a light right there that comes on at night, a red one. And then on top, if you can see it, I got another light. That one spins around like a lighthouse light. But yeah, we're about 27 feet. Let me turn around here so you can see the other side. So there's the other the other uh, direction there. So I move my head around so you can see everything. But yeah, this thing is super cool. It's awesome to climb up here in the summer and just sit up here. So yeah, I, uh, we'll get down and get that journey. I'm usually not one for heights, but when I can keep all four points of contact on the something, I'm not too bad. So this was fun to put up. This is all one piece, so I had to put it up with my skid steer and some ropes and stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and get down now. Yeah, this is really cool up here. It's amazing how much you could see for, you know, like only 20 feet in the air. So yeah, there's my there's my tallest uh, transmission tower model right there, and uh, yeah, it's really cool. This is how I like to build them here, but you need a lot of material to make them this tall, and they're heavy. This tower here's got to weigh like 400 pounds easy. It's like really heavy, so it takes a lot of material to make one this big. Next time I go scrapping and find some more stuff, I guarantee that's what I'll make out of it. Well, here it is all painted up and everything. Uh, standing next to it so you can see how tall it is. I'm 5'7", so I mean, it's, you know, right about there, probably 5'6". Um, I painted it yellow and then I took, uh, you know, like I said, I took this brown paint right here and I just dusted it on to make it look like it's getting rusty because um, I don't know about you guys, but I never seen one of these towers that never had any rust on it. Um, so I think it looks really authentic and I got three of the insulators on. Um, bring you a little closer here so you can see. So, um, yeah, this thing came out awesome. I'm super happy with it. Yeah, you can see the insulators there and then all they do is screw in and um, you know you can hang something off of that whether it be lights bird feeder whatever you want to do um, so uh, here you know what I'll get the other three and get them screwed on so and show you what you could do here's the other three right here that are uh, the paints dry now so they just screw on like that and I'd be more realistic if these are like dangling off of something you know like that like the real deal but you know I mean this thing with this modeling stuff is you can get so crazy I mean the the sky is the limit I mean it's you can just keep going and going and going and you know the detail just never stops But, well, I guess they do dangle a little bit. But, um, yeah, so there's, there's those three right there. And stand back. It looks really cool. This thing, this thing is awesome. And then 
uh, like I was saying at the top here, you got this quarter 20. So you can attach anything you want to like a quarter 20 nut and then just screw it on like that, whatever you want, whether it be a light or whatever. Um, so yeah, this thing came out awesome. You know what? Let's take it outside. Oh, it really looks authentic. Looks like the real deal now. It's too bad it's getting dark, but yeah get the real actually let's what would it look like if this thing was real and we were looking up at it yeah there we go i guess that's what it would look like if it was real i'm really happy with this thing this thing is awesome i love building these towers so yeah um i guess that's another Another tower down, <laughs> another tower built. This one here, this is probably my most detailed one by far. I really wanted to kind of go all out on this one. So, well, again, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and uh, I'd love to build more. Maybe give me an idea in the comments on what other style tower to build and I'm sure I'd love to build it. So if you enjoyed watching me build this, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And there will be plenty more videos like this to come. So thanks for watching everybody.